You know that feeling of passing by a church. Its door is once wide open, but now closed. Silent? It's a scene playing out in cities and towns around the Western world. But here's the twist. Some of these closed churches are finding new life. Not as they were, but as something entirely unexpected. Yep, you heard it right. Churches are getting a new lease on life as masjids. Alhamdulillah. It's not just about bricks and mortar. It's a story of transformation. Many new movements and breakaways from the church also affect church attendance. More and more people are attached by these movements, and they're leaving the organized church to be part of these. Most people are experiencing a dead church on a Sunday, and almost no church interaction during the week. Nothing significant is going on between those four walls. When the devotees gather, and nothing significant is going on among the members of the church or in the lives of church members during the week. With less devotees attending the churches, funding reduces and eventually churches are forced to close down. On the other hand, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world, and the devotees of Islam remain faithful to our Lord and His commands. We all know the feeling of peace and serenity we experience within the walls of a mosque. It is a feeling that cannot be put into words. The mosques are considered houses of Allah, and the connection the believers establish with their community mosque is pivotal to the unity and brotherhood of their community. Keeping these factors in mind, I'll bring you now on some famous churches that have been converted to mosques in the UK, USA, Australia, and Canada. These transformations are disturbing the Christian community and the missionaries, but it is now growing beyond their control, with Muslims getting funding and buying over churches with approvals from local government authorities and other officials. Of course, it's not without its fair share of opposition and bureaucratic systems to make the path harder for the Muslim community. According to information, only in Canada, during the past 20 years, dozens of churches have been converted into mosques. Wembley Central Mosque in northwest London was a church, which had later been bought by the Muslims and converted into a mosque. In Canada, a church located at 56 Boasted Avenue, Toronto, was converted into Jamil Mosque. A long-standing Lincoln Road United Church was sold, and the historic building that was erected 100 years ago for Protestant Christians now serves, now serves Windsor's Muslim community. The church was transformed into a mosque and a madrasa, and named as Masjid Nurul Islam Madrasa and Cultural Center for Windsor. This church was in fact sold for a lower price as they couldn't find people to run the church and fund it. Commenting on the sale, Ross Mitten, chair of the Finance and Property Committee of the United Church Essex Presbytery, told reporters, It was very sad when we closed, but our resources were dwindling, and the congregation was getting older and reducing in size. Unfortunately, there just wasn't enough of the next generation, and I'm talking about 60 years old, taking the church director positions, so it had to close. A similar trend to Canada is sweeping through the United States as well. According to churchleadership.org, about 4,000 churches a year close in the United States, compared to perhaps 1,000 that start up. A church in Germany was purchased by Muslims and converted into a mosque. It was purchased by the Islamic Center, a Nur, in Hamburg, Germany and converted into a mosque to accommodate a Noor's 2,000 congregants. According to a 2015 report of the Religious Studies Media and Information Service of Germany, there were roughly 4 million Muslims in the country. The number of Christians in Germany has been shrinking since the 1990s, while those professing no religion have grown to over 27 million. On July 17, 2015, 
the Assembly of Roman Catholic Bishops in Germany announced that almost 218,000 Germans had left their church in 2014 alone, the largest annual loss since at least 1990. The most prominent examples of the actions were the opening of Al Fatih Mosque in Amsterdam, the Sultan Ayub Mosque, and the Osman Ghazi Mosque in the Netherlands. In France, the Dominican Church in Lyle and the St. Joseph Church in Paris have been turned into mosques. A Bradford abandoned Victorian Methodist Church, vacant since 2020, is set to be converted into a mosque to serve the growing Muslim community. The building on Chapel Lane, which dates back to 1870, has been bought by the local Muslim community to be renovated into a mosque. These structures converted from one religion to another is sparking a different type of anger against the Muslim community. A Christian association called Friends of the Protestant Church in Berlin published a report on the conversion of 10 churches this year in Germany into mosques. It said the phenomenon was not new, but it was repeated and deliberate. On a different note, though, in some areas, there is support to work around the potential problems that could arise with a new mosque in the area. The Muslims always assure the locals that there will be no destruction of property and that nobody will be forcibly converted to Islam. They only open mosques as a place of worship for themselves and a central location for the community members to gather. Non-Muslims are permitted, however, to visit mosques and discover for themselves the truth and beauty of Islam.